So City's last win on penalties was in 1999 against Brislington in the Somerset Premier Cup quarter-final. Slightly different circumstances. Ooh, Paul Bowden yeah. missed in that one. Mark Hervin scored for City, a goalkeeper, and it's a City goalkeeper who will be facing a penalty first. It's going. Margate have replaced one of their penalty takers as well in uh, Jordan Chidozi, but Franny Collins picked up the ball first. So as well, we have to see what sort of system. One thing I don't want to, you know, at this level, they try to emulate what Premier League players do sometimes, and uh, you know, the, the goalkeepers often just dive, and it's made it a lot easier. I can't have to think if you just wait and see what happens. You've got more chance at this level. So let's see what right, Franny here we go. Collins can do with his first penalty of the penalty shoes out. Players wait in the halfway line. Colin, right footed. Brilliant save from Luke Southward. Straight into the hands of the Bow City goalkeeper. He guessed right. Powerful strike. Too low. Save City at the moment. Have the advantage. And it's Matt Richards stepping up. Well, that's hard to say that Luke Southward will fill me with some confidence. And what a save. He just waited. He went down and he clung onto the ball. An excellent save. Well, we could have more of an advantage because if it is the upper system and City have to take two in a row, it could go 2-0 up, but long way. Let's see, Matt Richards, City's number four, experienced player. Left-footed, brilliant penalty. Excellent penalty. What City have been missing in recent weeks, he put height on it into the top corner, Lee no chance and there's no other system. So Margate to go next and it's Liam Envermarum, City 1-0 up. Yeah, I mean, you just wish that uh, he'd taken it on Saturday, that's Temel. Why don't, uh, I sound like Victor Nardi, why don't they do that more often? Oh, I don't do know. Do they practice in six or side goals? They put all the penalties low. Look at the, the goals, what, seven, eight foot high? Oh, never mind. Anyway, right, it's Liam and up, next. Let's see what he does, whether he goes for height and power. Good penalty, yeah. cool into the bottom corner. Scythe would dive the wrong way. I think even if he had gone right, he wouldn't have got near it. And stepping up next Frank is Yartis. Frankie Artis, who's... Missed a couple. He scored in the shootout at North Ferry. He did. That was, good. that was a good penalty. Well, let's see what he does. He normally drives them hard and fairly central, Frankie Artis. Uh, hopefully, he'll follow the example of Matt Richards and put height on it. Artis, left footed. Excellent. Goal. Again, down the keeper's right. In all honesty, not the greatest penalty because if Lee gone, had gone the other way, he would have saved it, but gave the goalkeeper the eyes and Bath City lead 2-1. Margate with a third penalty now it's going to be Jack Evans scored a couple against City for Eastbourne a 5-2 win in January 2016 let's see what he can do from the spot he's scored a couple of goals this season Evans puff of the cheeks right footed an excellent penalty oh, I, yet yep. again just underneath the crossbar and all of them so far have gone to the goalkeeper's right. Now Kevin Amanqua's coming up, isn't he? He is. He's got a one goal advantage because uh, Luke Southwood saved the first penalty. All the rest have gone in. And if City do score all their penalties, they will progress whatever happens. But first of all, they need Kevin Amanqua. Captain, the leader is ample. Lots of cheers from the... Behind the goal, and Mankwa, brilliant Excellent. penalty. Three out of three so far. Now the pressure comes on for uh, the home side. Yeah, he sent the keeper the wrong way. This time he went to the goalkeeper's left, and stepping up now is Jay May, who has performed excellently since he came oh, on. He's been, he was a fabulous substitute. He's, he's he would not deserve to uh, be the culprit in this circumstance. Well, the first one. But, uh, let's see what happens here. So let's see. Jay May. Looks at the referee, looks at the ball, shoots, scores. Goalkeeper's left, far into the corner, Southwood guessed right, and stepping up next Nat is Jarvis. Nat Jarvis. Well, this is a crucial penalty. The fourth penalty for Bath City. If he scores, City go 4-3 up, and Margate will have to score to remain in the competition. Nat Jarvis, is it third time lucky? Yes. yes, it is. He's gone down the middle, similar to his penalty against Braintree. But this time, goalkeeper Patrick Lee dived out the way. And now Margate's fifth penalty. It could be their final one. And stepping forward is Matt Bodkin. And if he misses, City are through. Oh, the players can't bear the tension. The City bears arms around the shoulders. Oh, it's so nervous here in the final stages. Is this going to be 
the final kick of this tie. Bodkin looks down at the grind. Referee blows his whistle. Matt Bodkin steps forward. Excellent finish. Goalkeeper's right. Roof of the net. The standard of penalties has been brilliant. Jack and Batten. stepping forward is Jack Batten, who scored in the shootout against Potter's Bar Tyne. And City need him to repeat the trick and send City through. It's right, come on, the Jack. centre back. Jack Batten looks at the ball. Can he send City through to the first round? No, he can't. It's saved from Patrick Lee. He went to the goalkeeper's right. He guessed right. And we carry on here at Hartstein Park. It's 4-4. Sudden death. Oh, who's going next for Margate? Can you believe this? Well, uh, will we ever finish? It's now, what, virtually 11 o'clock? And we had the chance then to uh, bring this game to a close. And Jack Batten's penalty is saved. Now the pressure is back on. Everything is square. It's another centre back. It's Ben Swift. Left footed. Take uh, Ben Swift. What can he do? It's saved down the middle. City have advantage again. George Rigg now. George Rigg has to score. So he got their second chance to win it now. He's been in amongst the goals in October. George Rigg. He's never taken a penalty. He's looking confident. For Bow City. Come on, George, put this one away. George Rigg, the Bristolian. Goal! Yes, he's Into done the back it. of the and net! City win. Bow City have won from five goals to four in the penalty shootout. Jerry Gill rushes up to George Rick. He's been in eye and eye to the side recently. He is the hero here in Kent. It's a horrible way, you have to say, to win a match. And City, gracious in win. I see a lot of their players went straight to the Margate ones after because there was next to nothing between these sides this evening. But City, at last, amazingly, they've progressed on penalties. Bob, we're going to go to Hendon and try and exact revenge. Yeah, well, I mean, it's uh, you have to feel a little bit for Margate, but we're City fans. We, we've tried to be as uh, unbiased as possible in our commentary, but we will go home happy. And uh, well done, George Rigg. Well done to the penalty takers, and that is a massive boost. It's a nice little fi financial boost to the club. It keeps the FA Trophy run alive and uh, will instill everybody with a lot of confidence. And uh, well done to everybody who's travelled here. And uh, well done to you lot li listening to us for now, what? all that time and uh, we probably won't get away from here till about quarter to 12 be a long journey home hope you all sleep well and we'll be a lot happier when we travel back than we thought we might have been at one stage but uh, an excellent game of football and uh, city are victorious so literally in the 11th hour it's 11 o'clock here at heart Saint mark as jordrick strokes the ball past patrick lee we're near the theme park of the same name at Bath City, or in Dreamland. They're into the first round of the FA Trophy. They'll be travelling to North West London to play Hendon on the 16th of December. We'll be back on air on Saturday against Bognor Regis Town. I won't be there. I'll be on the PA if I've still got a voice left. Michael Powell, Joe Atram and Will Rowan. Bob, it's been a pleasure to be joined by you this evening. Likewise, and, uh, Mark. We'll remember this night. It'll, it's, it's got so many things to remember. We'll remember a night and we won't be returning home till four o'clock in the morning when we'll be seeing Chris Wokes and Joe Root open the batting at Adelaide. It's a long night, but one, as Bob just mentions, we'll forever remember. 2-2 two, two after 90 minutes, 2-2 two, two after 120 minutes, and 5-4 on penalties means Bow City are in the next round of the Build Base FA Trophy. Thank you all for tuning in. We'll be back on Saturday, 2.45pm against Bognor Regis Tang. Good night all. Good night.